you know what's horseshit? Xbox Live. I could be here all day giving you several reasons why it's horseshit, but we'll just go over a couple of those reasons, as I don't have all day. First and foremost, several different versions of the console came out, and if you were one of those unfortunate souls that had one of the original white ones that came out before 2009, you may have eventually succumbed to the red ring of death. Now while I mentioned before other versions came out such as the Slim, that version gave you wireless network capability like the Nintendo DS had it. Why the hell not the Xbox 360? But that's for another time and other videos you can find on the internet. And I digress. Xbox Live, it just seemed like a big money grab, didn't it? You had to sign up for a certain amount of months, 12 being the most beneficial to you, just to play games with your friends. Now, I can't fault them for that. You buy a game, and you automatically want to play, but, you know, for servers and all kinds of extra features, you know, it, it, it may be worth that. But you really want to know what pisses me off? The fact that I'm paying $60 to use Xbox Live, $50, whatever the fuck the price is these days. And on top of that, I'm paying for Netflix and Facebook. So just to use these things, I'm paying. Now, the PS3, on the other hand, may not have as good of a media center feature like the 360 does, but it lets me do what I want to do, which is play games with my friends for free. I won't even get into the horrible HD DVD bullshit versus Blu-ray, at least not right now. So, again... Xbox Live is horseshit.